You can't get mad at someone who's been mugged. Oh, good, that's good. But yeah. you don't look like you were mugged. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn eight idioms with friends. Let's begin. Heads, she's Rachel's. Tails, she's Monica's. <laughs> Tails! Oh. Monica, she's yours. No, that landed in your food! No, no, that's okay. You won fair and square. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Heads, she's Rachel's. Tails, she's Monica's. Oh. Monica, she's yours. No, that landed in your food. No, no, that's okay. You won fair and square. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> the idiom fair and square means doing something in a way that is honest, fair, and follows the rules. It's about not trying to cheat or gain an unfair advantage. Examples They won the match fair and square without cheating or breaking any rules. The candidate won the election fair and square with the most votes. The judge made their decision fair and square, evaluating the evidence and applying the law impartially. Heads, she's Rachel's. Tails, she's Monica's. Oh. Monica, she's yours. No, that landed in your food. No, no, that's okay. You won fair and square. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Mike Hannigan, will you marry me? Get a load of this. She's proposing to him. Guess we know who wears the pants in that family. <laughs> Mike Hannigan, will you marry me? Get a load of this. She's proposing to him. Guess we know who wears the pants in that family. <laughs> the idiom where the pants or trousers means to be the one who is in charge or has more control in a relationship or family. It suggests that the person who wears the pants, especially a woman, makes the important decisions and has more authority. Examples Sarah wears the pants in her marriage and makes all the major decisions. In their family, it's clear that John's wife wears the pants and has the final say. It's obvious that Tom's mother wears the trousers in their household and sets all the rules. Mike Hannigan, will you marry me? Get a load of this. She's proposing to him. Guess we know who wears the pants in that family. Yeah, but he wants to talk to you before anything really happens with her. And as his friend, I mean, don't you think he deserves the same from you? You are a pain in my ass, Keller. Yeah, but he wants to talk to you before anything really happens with her. And as his friend, I mean, don't you think he deserves the same from you? You are a pain in my ass, Keller. <laughs> the idiom to be a pain in the ass, butt, or neck means someone or something is very annoying. Examples Dealing with rush hour traffic is such a pain in the ass. My neighbor's dog barking all night is a real pain in the butt. It's a pain in the neck to find parking in this crowded city. John can be such a pain in the ass with his constant complaining. Yeah, but he wants to talk to you before anything really happens with her. And as his friend, I mean, don't you think he deserves the same from you? You're a pain in my ass, Keller. <laughs> Your grandfather and I might not be here. That's true. This message could be coming to you from beyond the grave, Emma. My parents died very young. And my cholesterol's off the charts. <laughs> Your grandfather and I might not be here. That's true. This message could be coming to you from beyond the grave, Emma. My parents died very young. And my cholesterol's off the charts. <laughs>
The idiom off the charts means something is extremely impressive, exceeding what is considered normal or expected. It can also mean to be at a very high level. Examples His blood sugar level was off the charts. The popularity of the new video game is off the charts, with millions of players worldwide. Her talent as a singer is off the charts, she has an incredible voice. The temperature today is off the charts, it's the hottest day we've had in years. The rainfall in the region last month was off the charts, it broke all previous records. My grandfather and I might not be here. That's true. This message could be coming to you from beyond the grave, Emma. My parents died very young. And my cholesterol's off the charts. <laughs> Ross, how about you? Which would you give up, sex or food? Food. Okay, how about um, sex or dinosaurs? <laughs> oh my god, it's like Sophie's choice. <laughs> Ross, how about you? Which would you give up, sex or food? Food. Okay, how about um, sex or dinosaurs? <laughs> oh my God, it's like Sophie's Choice. <laughs>
Their financial situation went downhill after they lost their jobs. The company's reputation went downhill rapidly after a major product recall. Hey, you son of a bitch. Is it me or have the greetings gone downhill around here? Evie and Rachel saw you with Nancy today and um, they think you're having an affair. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Goodbye and take care.